Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is B. Avery here for another trailer reaction. This one is Brightburn official trailer number two. Saw the first trailer, did not know what the hell it was. I'm like, oh, snap, An evil Superman. I'm down with this. Saw it last year, and this one is on my top most anticipated films of 2019. So, really, really looking forward to this right here. So, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I'm just going to put on these headphones so you guys can stop listening to me talk. And watch me watch this trailer. Here we go. <laughs> bright burn. I will burn your bright. <laughs> Superman shots and all Mom, that. Who am I? You are a gift. <laughs> we believe. That you came here for a reason. Seems like he was brought up good. I wonder what happened. I know it's been difficult for you lately. <laughs> that you feel different from other kids. Just the floor, Brian. <laughs> Messing with the wrong different. one. Caitlin, get my hand up. He's a creep. Help him up. What are you doing? So dumbass kid. I want him in handcuffs and I want him gone. Do you even know who his real mother is? I'm his real mother. Let's go. Maybe there oh, is something wrong with Brandon. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I will never turn right. against our son. He's not my son! You better love that boy. Hey, who's messing with me? Something wrong? Boy around by chance. You're one of the only people in the world that knows how special I am. There are believed to be no survivors among the 268 passengers on board. Except for him, maybe, or he did it. No, no, no! Whatever you've done, I know there is good inside you. shot so it didn't it just stood there and just I wanna do good mom I do really written by James Gunn his producer so that look uh freaking badass right there the thing about it is initially when I first saw the first trailer um you know he didn't talk and so I'm just kind of thinking like if he's going crazy, you know, he's maybe lost his mind. He doesn't have a sense of what's really going on, et cetera, et cetera. But he is talking here. I want to do good, mom, and all that other stuff. So you're con he's conscious so of his actions. So I'm just like, what? I mean, even when he's talking to his mom, uh, Elizabeth Banks, you know, I want to do good. I, I, I just can't wait to see what she's saying. Like, okay, if you want to do good, why did you, you know, kill the lady at the, uh, at the, in the refrigerator? Why did you throw the truck over here? Why, why are you killing people on the plane? If that's what happened, I cannot wait to see that dialogue. You know what I'm saying? Now the girl or whatever, I completely understand that. Uh, they, they broke his hand. You know, he was being put, picked on bullet. Now I don't have any kids myself, but if I if, if God bless me with kids, and I hope He does one day. Um, uh, I'm gonna lose my effing mind if my child gets bullied. Like I just don't care. You are just not gonna do that. I mean, I'm gonna be smart about it. I'm gonna be strategic about it. I'm not going. I'm not sending Sam from there go or harm and hurt kids, but. I'm going to lay the, uh, my foot down to where they just know, like, okay, 
Oh, those are Brandon Keith Avery's kids. Don't mess with him. Or let's if, if we're gonna mess with kids, let's make sure that he never finds out about it if it's some other kids because I'm scared as hell. Like, you know, excuse me for hitting the mic. That's just it's it's just not going down. Hell no. Like if I was in that parent teacher conference or whatever in the meeting and this woman going off talking about it, no woman, I would have shut all that crap down. I'm I'm just saying, like, no, no, no. I, I, I am I am passionate. I, I cannot understand what somebody is mistreated. I am a producer of justice, guaranteeing that no person is mistreated and guaranteeing the person needs the most constructive help gets the most help. It, it's it's just I can't wait to see this movie. Y'all see how I'm you know, coming out with all my emotions and stuff like this. Um, but man, it looks freaking good. And like I said, when I was watching it, I liked that shot right there. Uh, it was just, just a steel wire shot of her hiding on the table and he goes, zoom, flying through that. That just, that's dope right there. That's just like, like great filmmaking, you know, in a simple sense. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. Well, what I'm talking about nothing too crazy. It's an evil Superman boy flying through houses. So I guess it is kind of crazy. I mean, I'm just talking about the technique of the shot, Brightburn. And now I saw, I didn't know what Brightburn meant at first, but Brightburn, Kansas is the, um, that is the uh, name of the city, the town the city and state that they're in let me see if that's a real place bright burn kansas let's see um okay i don't think so i mean I'm, of course we know kansas is real but um yeah, I, don't know, I don't feel like looking it up but I want to see, so James Gunn and Brian Gunn, that's his brother, and Mark Gunn. How many guns is it? Gun, gun, gun. Uh, let me click. I'm on IMDb right now, internetmoviedatabase.com. Y'all should know that. Yeah, I was going to say something else. David Yorvesky. Hello, David. What have you done before? You have directed... A short, 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 some TV short, The Hive in 2014. What is this? That looks scary as hell. I don't want to look at it no more. God damn, I have nightmares. Why did I look at that? Um, so really nothing. Um, man, that hive poster looks thrown off. Let's get out of that. Uh so writers are Brian Gunn and Mark Gunn. And uh Elizabeth Banks is in this and that's just the only, I mean, I'm pretty sure some other people are like, oh, I know this actress, actor, yada, yada, yada. But these are the people that are standing out to me. I do not know every actor, actress in the world. Um, but it looks nice, y'all. It looks good. I, I can't wait to see it. I um, Looks like the father is not on board with none of this. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to die. Uh, that's just kind of how it works or whatever. But maybe they're going to throw a twist in there. Because usually the person is like, we got to get him out of here and kill him or something like that. All right, little bright burn boy, a Superman boy, come with me. And, you know, like I know you don't like me, ma'am. You know, he kills him. Uh, we got these laser eyes right here. This looks pretty, uh, pretty dope. What if a child from another world crash landed on Earth, but instead becoming a, a hero to mankind, he proved to be something more sinister. I cannot wait to see this. It comes out May the 24th, and it seems like it is going down. But guys, that is just my opinion for Bright Burn trailer number two. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you like my opinion or not? Did you hate it? Do you agree with me or do you disagree? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen, and I made it very easy by providing links to all that down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction for Bright Burn Season 2. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.